Hi, Alana. You had a wonderful celebration service, and seeing all of the people, the friends, the family, I can definitely see that you are a very well-loved person. And I wanted to make this video because I didn't get the opportunity to express how I felt. And during the celebration of your life, there was this opportunity to share different past memories between co-workers, friends, family. And even though it was cut short and not a whole lot of people got to participate in that um, sharing, because of that, I would like to dedicate this video to you and your family and share what I wanted to share at your funeral. I feel that it was a great way to mourn and remember who you truly are. It was great to hear the stories from the individuals that were able to speak, and I'm pleased to hear that you touched their lives like you touched mine. There was only a few classes that we had together from 10th grade to 12th grade, and this one thing you hid from me until my senior year in Wendy Watts' room. But before I get ahead of myself, I want to back up to when I was younger. For some reason, I don't know why, but whenever I go outside or maybe I wake up in the morning and it's extremely bright, I happen to sneeze uncontrollably. And <laughs> and as as a kid, I remember I remember always trying. I would go outside and I would try as hard as I could to sneeze continually as many and as fast as I could, no matter how hard I tried. And the countless of times that I did try, I could only sneeze six times maximum and normally roughly four or five times. But it used to be a game that I played and I loved the feeling. That, I know, it's weird. I know, trust me. And we all have our little kids games that we played, you know, and why I continued this, I don't know. Yeah, I know it's weird, okay? It's a little bit. But I just like sneezing, what can I say? Okay, now knowing this, this magnificent day, I, I was in, I was in Wendy Watts' room, and, um, <laughs> and Alana, she was, you know, on the other side, and the sun was just beaming on her. So here she is, you know, she's, she's, you know, sitting there in class. And then all of a sudden, she, like, sneezed, like, 12 times consecutively. And uh, I just, I just, I just stood there, or, or sat there. I, I sat there and just looked at her. I was like, and like uh, trying to hold myself, <laughs> to hold myself together, and uh, my mouth it just dropped, and I I was looking, and I thought, how the hell, because I've been practicing this for years, and the most I could get is like four or five times, but here she goes and consecutively sneeze twelve times, and I don't mean like hunt you and then wait a little, I mean. Boom, 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 like instantaneously. And uh, I mean, I felt like a little girl, uh, I'm like, you know, getting my first Barbie doll and just at total awe, like, wow. And, um, uh, and but at the same time, like, I was kind of pissed. I've been doing this for 12 years and I couldn't even get like six to eight. And he or she did it, and it's like, wow. I was just, I was appalled. And you know, I always, I always wanted to ask, like, hey, how did you do that? You know, what's the secret? But how do you, <laughs> how do you even start to ask a question like that? Like, uh, excuse me, uh, I kind of have a, let's say, fetish of sneezing, and can you tell me how you do it? You <laughs> know, it's, it's not not normal conversation um but uh yeah and you know 
And from that day forward, and I, and I had seen her, you know, do it a couple times, you know, now that she was at that sunlight, I don't know if it was because of the same reasons why I sneeze, I don't know. But um, now, from that point forward, you know, I've always, I've always thought of her when, when I sneeze, <laughs> weirdly or not, but it's, and it's, it's my way, it's my way of remembering and really holding what connections we did have um, through sneezing. And since this time of my eyes witnessing this continuous phenomenon, I have thought of Alana. I've thought of you, Alana, every single time I have sneezed, trying to beat your record. <laughs> and I don't know. It's moments like these that matter the most. The little things. Alana, rest assured. You will never be forgotten, not from me, your family, or friends. You have touched so many lives, and your legacy will live through me and countless of others. My heart truly goes out to you, Alana, to your friends, to your family, to your loved ones. You were so young and so full of life, and you will be missed by countless of people. You are the second classmate to pass away, and I can't bear another one. Hi guys, there is never an adequate amount of time to share memories, and I encourage you all to make your own video to reflect on your memories of Alana. I am excited to see how many of you accept the challenge and post your own memories on Alana's wall. This would give great comfort to Alana's family and all of those who loved her. Letting go of every single dream I lay each one down at your feet Every moment of my wandering Never changes what you see I've tried to win this war, I confess My hands are weary Tomorrow